welcome to Mug. Today we have the honor of having Ashley Beal here with us. So mm -hmm. Ashley, tell us about yourself. Okay, so I'm very outgoing. Um, I'm a natural leader. Um, I love fashion. I love politics. Something that most people don't know about me is that I'm very smart um, academically. Um, I have great agility, like teach me anything and I'll pick it up like it. immediately. And most of the time people are like, well, I didn't really think you were like that. Because most of the times when I first meet people, I'm very like honest and they're just kind of shocked at the honesty that I say. And they're just like, this girl's funny. <laughs> but then it's just like funny. They're like, well, she's pretty smart too. But yeah, yeah she shit. got you just full of surprises. I mean, I was like the whole package, but you know me. Yeah, <laughs> don't get a lot. So tell us about your, your ministry. Tell us about your, your first line. Okay, so Kadesh LLC was um, a business idea that the Lord gave me. Um, it was during my worship time. And um, God basically was telling me that he wanted me to sell handbags. At the time, I was not working. So I was like spending a lot of time at home, reading my word. And when he told me that, I was like, okay, well, what, what name am I going to do? call it like what, what if I'm gonna sell handbags because you told me to what is the name gonna be and he was just like K-Dash which was something that resonated with me when I first got saved um one memorable service that I had at an old church was when he preached on the Israelites being in the wilderness and the name of the wilderness was um K-Dash Barnea wow. which meant holy wilderness and I was, and it's, that, it's Hebrew, so I remember saying like, oh, this is like three years ago, I was like, oh, I like that, that ring, Kadesh Barnea, like, it stuck with me, and every time I would go through these seasons where I'm not, not really understanding, I'm like, I'm just in a holy wilderness, I'm just in a holy wilderness, so then when he asked, when I asked about what name I should name it, he gave me Kadesh, and I was like, oh, he brought this it back. is perfect, I'm like, this is why he resonated with me so much, because, you know, of course, the Lord sees forward, you yes. know what I'm saying? She's so strategic. Yes, yes. definitely, wow. definitely, so that's just the gist of that story, and then from there, I, he gave me, like, a deadline for my launch, so from, like, February to, like, May 15th, I was just, like, working, mm -hmm. you know? Wow, <laughs> that's dope, like, thank you. just, like, that was, you said three years ago? Mm -hmm. So three years ago, he put something, just a, a thought, a piece. And just think, I always tell, tell this to people, like, God, he knows what he's doing. He's very strategic. His timing yeah. is perfect. Because if he gave us the whole pie, if he gave us just the whole vision, we literally would just probably want it. Because yes. you're so immature and yes. you're still developing us. So he's like, I'm going to give you a piece. I'm going to give you the name. You're not going to know what this is for. But yeah. this will always resonate. This will always be in the back of your mind and your heart. And when that time comes around, when I feel like you are ready, yeah. it's going to hit. And you ain't yeah. even going to know that it's going to make sense. And it's crazy. I was just talking to my sister about that, too. Like, all my different degrees, what I'm about to pursue. Mm -hmm. I'm like, when I first got, I kept on putting these different things into my heart. I'm like, God, none of this makes sense. Right. And then... My sister was like, it wasn't meant for it to make sense for you. Right. God knew. The amazing thing about God, like even when you think about um, the people in the Bible like David, the fact that he can slay a giant, you know, cut his head off, but then go and play the harp. Yes. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like it's the same with us. Like, you know, God creates, creates each and every one of us individually distinctly like different like yes. we'll just get different same thing. but it's just like you're completely you have all these different characteristics and you're like well how like for me I um my dream job always was to become an attorney a civil rights attorney wow. but I always had a love for fashion like mm -hmm. you always be like how, how do you love fashion and like criminal justice and can't. politics <laughs> And I'm like, I like these two things I can talk about for a day. Wow. So when the Lord was like, yeah, sell handbags, I was just like, God, oh, sell handbags. Like, I, I would never thought like my first business would be that. I would right. think like my first business would be my own law firm. Mm -hmm. And he was just like reminding me all the time people compliment me, compliment the handbags that mm -hmm. I have. Um, the times where friends would be like, hey, you know, it's my birthday, you got to style me. 
And I'm like, okay, come on, let's go ahead. Yeah, like, 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 right. you know. So I, I totally agree with you. Yeah, I definitely agree with it, you. It's too. timing. It's just like it doesn't make sense to you, and you can't even really fathom. But he put it in place where it's gonna help groom you, develop mm-hmm. you, something greater than just that thought at that moment. Yeah. And so, whoo, that 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 a <laughs> word, okay? So, um, what makes your merchandise and brand different from other person? Um, in fashion companies? Uh, okay, so what sets me apart, um, my mission is to, one, like, redefine what the, um, what is the word, modest woman is. Mm-hmm. I feel like in the Christian community, you know, women, when you get saved, it's always like, you gotta make sure you're modest, you gotta make sure you're modest, but I feel like people are taking modest and making it boring. Mm-hmm. You know? You can still look good and still be a woman of God, you know? Like, what I wear has nothing to do with the, the, the walk that I have. It has nothing to do with me carrying my cross and dying of flesh every day, you know? Right. But what sets my bags apart in, entirely from all handbags is just the um, the fact that I try to find things that are a statement, but also goes with a lot of things, mm-hmm. you know? Because you want... One, I think the most important thing about handbags is you want it to be timeless. Mm. So you want to be able to wear this three years from now. Right. But then you also want something that will go with most of your outfits. So I'm a one and under. Give me one bag, I can Okay. So I like even when I did my first photo shoot, I had the same bag in like different colors and I had each model in different outfits. Wow. To let you see like, you know, you can wear different things with it, yes, and it'll look like you try hard, right? You know, that's that's what it was, yes, like, like, yes, and that's the thing. I know for me, like, I always get complimented on what I'm wearing and all this kind of stuff, but I really don't try hard, I just know how to match pieces very well. Yes. And I feel like your handbag is one of those very important pieces, and on top of that, um. I wanted to make sure each hand, I wanted to give it a Chanel quality, like a high luxury bag quality. So like when people order, I mean, their thing is given to them within like three days. You know what I'm saying? And then on top of that, like the packaging is very top quality. Like, you know, a lot of times you see stores on Instagram and it's just like you'll order something and they'll just be like in a mailer and you receive it and you're like, oh my God. But no, this is like, I'm saying like tissue paper, dust bag, Nice little sleek box, you know, like, and then you know you can keep it in 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 the dust bag in the box, you know, you don't have to lay it around and all the other kind of stuff like you would when you bought a bag. Like, how you treat how people treat their shoes? They make yes. sure they keep their box, keep everything yes. the same way you treat your bag. Yes, definitely. And then the last thing I feel like what sets it apart is just the fact that every bag is inspired by um, the word of God. Woo! Tell us more about so, that. Tell us more about that. Okay, so each of the bags, the first three bags that I came out with was the Joshua bag, the David bag, and the Eve bag. Um, I'm not going to give it all away because I would want people to purchase this first because um, it also comes www.shotk-.com <laughs> backslash all dash products. And usually I um, put the card in there and it tells what the bag is about and I also give a word of encouragement for wow. whatever woman, you know? And um, but I'll give you a hint of how I came up with the Joshua bag. Um it was this was like the fan favorite which was an orange one. It sold out literally that first week, which I was like hype. I was like, Yes and you know, it was so bold and it stood out to me when I first saw it. So I was just like Man, this just reminds me of something that's just like it makes makes the world stop. Like it makes people like stop what they're doing. Like, oh, that is a nice bag. Like, that's that's so bright. That's so nice. And it made it reminded me of the story of Joshua, which is um, Joshua chapter ten, when he asks, you know, during the war, he asks God to make the sun stand still. Mm-hmm. So I was like, yes, like Joshua bag, like. The bag is so hot, it would make the sun stand still. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So it, it, it's the eye catching. People be like, oh, that's nice. You right. know what I'm saying? So Making a whole statement. Yes, definitely. And then it's versatile, as I said in the beginning. Versatility, so it can go with a lot of different things. 
as well as um, timeless. I feel like you can wear this a couple of years from now. You know, there's a lot of fads that come out, you know, like right now, like the fanny pack. You know, fanny packs are really popular in the 80s, and then people stop wearing them. Now they're coming back. And now it's coming back. So it's just like, you know, that's just like, it comes and goes, but there's certain handbags that just are just completely timeless. So that's like my number one goal, you know, for my business, my handbags to just be around years from now. That's so Yes. That's amazing. So what has been one of your most memorable moments for you thus far in ministry? Mm. Oh, wow. I feel like probably when I um, I started like getting people that I didn't know ask me like, oh, you're the one who has that handbag line, right? And I was like, yeah. And I'm like, yeah, you know, my friend told me about it. I was like, oh. Okay, it's okay. Right. Right. Word of mouth, which is like the best kind of marketing, mm-hmm. you know. I think that's like awesome. And then I also had um, an opportunity to like interview with Voyage ATL. Oh, that was wow. like a complete curveball. Like when I ended up getting um, an email from them, I was wow. just like, wow, like you know, because I opened up and was just very transparent as far as well on my social media as far as. Um, just my journey throughout 2019 before the launch and even before God even blessed me with the business. Um, just the fact of like getting fired from my job wow. and you know, I also at the time was trying to um, apply for law school and stuff like that and I didn't do well on the health set. So all these things were just coming in but you know, um, I persevered through it by the strength of God, yes. of course, you know. So I feel like that would definitely be the most memorable like moment of my business just the fact that I I was obedient to God and I'm seeing fruit from it. Woo! No, that's real because yeah. it's like things that we think that we want. But God truly knows what we need. And one of my favorite scriptures is um Psalms 37 4 and it's delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. People only stay at the desires of your heart part, but what sticks out to me is delight yourself in the Lord. And I always tell and I always pray and I ask God, I say, God, allow my purpose to align with the path that you have destined for me. Because that's when I know it's like I can have a desire for something. But is is it what your purpose? Is it what you have called for me to do? Mm-hmm. And so the more and more you continue to delight in him, the more and more it will just align with his purpose. Yeah. And so you just not giving up in the sense of just all things because you didn't get accepted. He may have that in store for you later yeah. on in life, but he wanted you to focus on this. And he yeah. did, you see how much joy and the fruit that you receive yeah. just from it alone. And it's something, if you would have just dwelled on the fact that you didn't make it into law school right yeah. now, yeah. Yeah. you would have missed this whole opportunity of blessing and because you didn't even want to dwell a little bit that was case for you yeah so that's truly truly beautiful yes so as a christian entrepreneur has there ever been a trying moment for you and if so how did you handle the situation um so i feel like in this current like day and age entrepreneurship is very um glamorized Mm -hmm. so you know how there was a season where being a rapper was the thing and there was a season when being an actress was being a, a, a big thing or an actor was a big thing. And I feel like now being a business owner is a huge thing. Everyone wants to do it. It's very memorized on social media. And it's a lot of back work to it. You know, you want to make wise decisions. You don't want to make the wrong decisions. You want to make sure you're doing things legally. Mm. You know, you want to have everything in order. Um, you know, sometimes the people you love sometimes will either, you know, they love you, but they may put too much input in. And it's just like, okay, you're kind of clouding the vision that I'm trying to right. do. Or they don't understand support as much as you think they probably do. Yes, yes. And then um, another thing would definitely be, like, and to be transparent, one of the top priorities for me was to not be like other black businesses mm-hmm. because I believe, like, Black businesses have like a lot of inconsistency, you know, and their customer service usually isn't up to par, you know. So I did have a situation where a young lady had an issue with one of her bags and I felt so bad. And she was just like, I really love it, though. Like I get so many compliments on it and stuff like that. And I was like, 
girl, don't worry about it. Like, I'm going to send you a whole nother, another one. Mm-hmm. And she was like, what? I was like, yeah, like, I'll, it's, it's going to be free. Like, you don't have to pay for shipping. I'm just going to send you another one. She was in disbelief. Like, right. wow. Like, she was like, I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, and I was just like. stereotype because you do see often, I mean, every business has their ups and downs, whether you black, white, Hispanic, but what's always targeted home is when the black business crash, when yeah. the black business crumbles. So being able to break that stereotype just for just black um, entrepreneurs, yes. women, mm-hmm. young millennials, all of that, yes. that that's dope. Very important to me. It was very important. Yes, so. and I'm sure she went and told so many other people too, like, of course, man, of I, course. I still like my bag. Yes. She still was like, I was just going to say, like, integrity is the most important thing, mm-hmm. you know? You don't you don't want to be hungry for money. Like, yes. man is not my God, Ooh. you know? So it's just like, okay. okay, if I have to give you this free bag, at least I know you're going to come back, yes. you know? And I feel like it's more important to have a relationship with your clients, you know? Yes. Um, because they, they'll trust you. So mm-hmm. that's the most important thing is building trust with your clients. So that they will want to come back again. Yes. Right. No. That's that's really good. Yes. And I'm sure, like I said, she told so many other people. Mm. So that's that's dope. So what scriptures keep you going, or what scripture? Ooh. Well, I definitely go through by the seasons. So um, in the beginning of the year, it was Jeremiah one and five, mm-hmm. which was um, I knew you before I formed you in your mother's room, mm-hmm. and I set you apart appointed you to be a prophet to the nation so I was like holding on to that um and then after that it was Jeremiah no not, Je- no, not Jeremiah Isaiah 43 18 and 19 um I don't know if verbatim I should memorize it but just the fact you know what God just says like um I'm making a way to wilderness can you perceive it mm-hmm. like and he's just explaining like how to just forget about the past and just move forward to what new thing I'm going to do for you Yes. So that right there, I always hold on to. And then Psalm 23 and 27, that keeps me going. Like, I honestly feel like that is like the perfect prayer. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. That's what's up. That's so, so do you have any encouraging words you would like to share with our viewers? Um. Okay, so my encouraging word for you guys is have faith for the things that God is calling you to. And don't fear the faces of man. You know, situations in life will happen. Don't, life is not perfect and don't depict, you know, sometimes our depictions can cloud what God's trying to do. So go ahead and just have faith even in the bad times and have faith in the good times that all the plans of God will come together for your good. Amen. Amen. So any upcoming events or sales you would like to share with them? Honestly, so I am working on, um, my own like designs because the other ones that I had was like actually like purchase wholesale and stuff like that so now I'm like really like focused and honing in on trying to be my own designer oh, wow. so my first the handbag design that I actually created myself um it was by a seamstress that um, I basically had the design for the fabric oh, sketched wow. it out for him and um he actually sewed it all together. I need to actually work on my sewing skills and then I can actually make myself. So this is, this is made here in the States. Oh, wow. And um, I have a lot of dreams. So literally God gave his vision with his dream in my sleep. Like, oh, wow. of course, it's a dream. But dream. It was like, it was so vivid. It was just between, um, just before I woke up and I was sitting there and I saw like this like, snake skin like clutch bag with red interior and I was like oh that bag is dope I love it and then I was just like I woke up and the whole spirit was just like that's gonna be the next bag I was like let's go and do wow. it you know what I'm saying so, so this is it right here you know it's um white and it's like faux leather like it's very easy just some soap if you you know because it's white you know you get some soap and water if you get a little dirt on it. Mm-hmm. But um, I also have it in orange. Oh, wow. But I don't have the orange with me. But um, the inside is very, like, space. In, space. It has a lot of space in it. And several inserts. Wow. Two inserts in there. 
Check this out. Check this out. Okay. And it is so much in there. I actually posted the video on Instagram when I came from a conference because it was so convenient, which was the idea that I wanted. Yes. You know, like I literally was spinning my journal in here, wow. my pens and like extra stuff, cards, business cards, and was just like zipping it up and just going right. in. And everyone's like, well, where's your pen and paper? Like, you have a ten million notes? And I'm just like, no, I'm in style, I, baby. I have it. Let me just. You know, pulled it right on out. <laughs> so it's just like, it's super convenient. Like, it's a gorgeous, like, color. Like, I, I, I believe you can wear it any yes. season. Yes. Any occasion. Yes. Yeah. And, and then what about this other bag? Okay, and this is the Joshua bag. This was like yes, the crowd favorite. But this is in pink. So everyone's favorite color was the orange and the black. They completely, like, I still get like DMs from people like, mm -hmm. hey, when are you gonna restock on orange? Yeah. And like, I feel like people don't necessarily understand how like in the fashion industry, um, if it's a boutique, that means like first come first, first serve. Yeah. It's not gonna come and come again because that's that's more like retail mm -hmm. and um, department true. stores where boutique is just like getting something that's unique and that no one else has. They're only limited, like they only yes. like make five or ten. Or yes, like definitely. Oh, wow. So, yeah, this is the infamous Joshua bag that I was referring to oh, wow. earlier. Yes. yes, right in front of us. Yeah. Right yeah. in front of us. And this is the pink one. Yes. The orange it's is like gone. a salmon pink. Yes. yes. Very, very cute. So, um, give them your information one more time. Website, okay. social media. Okay, definitely. 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 Okay, so if you want to find me on social media, I'm um, MS period A M V E E. That's Miss Ambi on Instagram. And then if you want to follow my business page, it's Shop K D S, which is Shop K A D E S H. And it's the same on Facebook as well. And yeah, that's it. Oh, thank you, thank you so much, Ashley. This was so much fun. I had a great time. Just the, the story, the history behind just this ministry, this mm -hmm. company was just truly amazing. Um, I truly, truly do appreciate you. Yes, and thank you guys. Until next time. Yes.